to my channel. My name is Yolandi. Um, if you're new here, hey, please subscribe. Cool things are going to be happening here in the future. Um, but today we're putting up a Christmas tree. Um, I got, because my apartment is so, it's a good size. Um, I don't have anywhere, I would say the layout is weird. So I don't have a great place to put the Christmas tree. So I decided to put it where this table is right there. Wait, wait, there, yeah. So that table doesn't belong there. It was actually where the piano is, but I moved it to put the piano there instead. And it just didn't, it wasn't nice to have the table right underneath the TV, but I didn't know where else to put it. I'm gonna get a new table eventually. So I think for Christmas, the holiday season, I'm gonna move this table and put it on this wall temporarily or i was thinking to put in my closet because i don't eat at it anyway but my friend is coming over for thanksgiving so we're gonna need a table to eat at but like after that i'm getting rid of the table getting rid of it so we're gonna move that table and i'm gonna pop open the christmas tree and we're gonna see what it looks like oh, my arm. i'm gonna see what it looks like it's a pencil tree it's a slim tree um so i'm I have to flock it i believe this i believe that's the term flocking it flock flocking it and then um i don't have ornaments yet but i'm going to order them when i order them i'll show you guys when they come and then my friend is she's going to help me decorate the tree for christmas because she's coming for thanksgiving so i'll video that when it happens so today we're just looking at the tree and like i said in another video <laughs> we're going to discuss that pumpkin in the background because because i took on a task let's just say that i took on a competition but we'll, we'll discuss that in another video. All right, let's do the Christmas tree. And I gotta charge my phone before it dies. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is move the table and then I'm gonna go grab the box of the Christmas tree. This table makes me so sad. I wish it was not. I wish I never got it, but it's too late for that. It's so this is the tree right out the box. Well, in the box opened it's pretty I love you <laughs> all right got the base okay most important part all right yay so excited This is C, so C, that's B, so C, I'm going to assume is the very bottom. I'm going to take this off the top cap. Anyway, good. Tightening the screw, right? Okay. It's not moving all over the place. So basically I heard if you flock the tree, if you flock the branches in a S kind of pattern, it will help the tree look a little more fuller. Okay, so I finished fluffing the first level, uh, the first section of the Christmas tree. So I just put the second one on and I think it looks cute so far.
So this is the tree fully fluffed. And I think it looks really cute. I'm gonna push the tree back in a minute and turn the light on so you guys can see what it looks like with the lights on. I'm very happy with the tree. Um, my advice to fluffing the tree is just take pride in what, in what you're doing and you'll be able to fluff it and fill in all the spaces the way you want. There's plenty of branches for you to fluff it um, correctly and not see the center. It's a very nice dense tree. Um, when you get to the second level going towards the top of the tree, um, the branches are not connected to like individual branches. They're connected directly to the pole, which gives you more like freedom to maneuver and bend the branches the way you want. So you can get that full coverage that we are looking for, but liking it loving it i can't wait to get the ornaments so you guys stay tuned for that and if you guys are interested in this tree i will have it in the description to show you guys this is all that um fell off so it wasn't too much so i don't see the tree being a problem as far as um a lot of the snow a lot of the flocking um falling from the tree like a lot of excess they did a decent job um it's a nice tree, it's a, it's a nice tree. I wanted to show you the different lights that we have. So that was this first one. It's a lot more vibrant in person. I'm like, is the color even changing? I feel like some of the colors are like just so close. Yeah. This yellow in person actually seems kind of green, but the longer the lights stay on, it seems to change to the more, I know it sounds crazy, but I feel like it warms up to the color you would expect for a classic yellow Christmas tree lights. All right, so press the same button twice. So the orange, red, orange, darker orange, red. And then, like I said, way more vibrant in person. You double click when you double click on the combination colors that's when it um, sparkles twinkles this is a nice one then I think I show you so for this one these are like pre just another mode so it's the colors that need to go automatically. This is red, white, and blue. This is green, white, green, white, red, and blue. White and blue, this is my favorite one. It matches the apartment, you know. And that's it, so um, I really like this tree. It's pretty. Um, some people on Amazon complain that there should be more lights. Um, I agree, but if you turn on the tree, if you turn on the lights and before you put the decorations on, the ornaments, you just um, see where there are any dark spots and you just move the branch with a light bulb to the spot that's dark. And then I, to me, I feel like you have enough, enough coverage. And uh, yeah, if you get some, I would say some ornaments that are um, clear, 
transparent, then I think that might help the light reflect a little more and help the tree, you know, be bright. And then just, you know, pick some balls that are like shiny and can bounce some light off. And I think you will be all set. Um, I'm going to get a star for this tree. I already have one in mind. And I already have the ornaments that I want in mind. So like I said, I'm going to get those ornaments and set it up with my friend. It's going to be very cute. I'm going to make it a whole thing. And that's it, guys. Um, this tree is definitely worth it. I bought this tree for, I believe, $89. I'll double check. Um, there was a coupon for this tree that I used. So, um, hey, I, may, I might have paid even less with taxes. And I think altogether it came up to like 89 or something. Maybe less. So, very economical tree. Very beautiful tree. It's not cheap. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels like a nice uh, quality tree for the price. Um, I'll link it in the description. And you guys could check it out. Like I said before, beware. Um, the classic yellow warm light um, this tree doesn't seem to like really have so if you're looking for that um, maybe don't purchase this this is just my opinion um, the tree when you have the tree on this yellow light it looks the way it should on camera as opposed to in person like this one might be this one looks like maybe the classic yellow, but it's, it's really not. Like, it looks like legit, like, RGB yellow, like, straight up. So, just be careful about that. Um, listen, for the price and the quality of the tree, I'm just sucking it up, basically, and see what happens. But, like I said, I know if, if I, like, click through the colors, and then sometimes if I click on yellow, I feel like the colors reset somehow, so I don't know if there's something wrong with the remote. I don't know. But um, I didn't see anyone on Amazon complain about the colors. I don't know. Maybe it's just me and I just want, I'm very particular. I don't know. Um, but that's my two cents on it. So I, if you want to give give it a try, if you're not looking for the classic Christmas yellow lights, then just purchase this. If you go, hey, let me just buy one and see if the colors are correct, then if you can get that yellow, then you want to try it. And then if it doesn't work out for you, bring it back. You can do that too. Uh, and that's it, guys. I recommend this tree. Bye.